There's a new module called EZ Visuals that will make your text look so much cooler. It will go from this to this. So if you want to know how to add this to your text in your game, make sure to continue watching. So the first thing that you need to do is to get the easy visuals module from the pinned comment below. Once you click on the link and actually get the module, we need to add it to our game. So you can just go to the inventory, my models, and you can click on easy visuals just like that. Once it's in your game, just put it straight into replicated storage. And now we can start adding in our texts. All right, so I inserted a screen GUI and added two texts into my game. Now we can actually use the easy visuals module to give them some cool effects. So I'm going to add in a local script inside of the screen GUI. And the first thing that we need to do is to get easy visuals. So let's first get the replicated storage game colon get service replicated storage. Let's also get the easy visuals by saying require replicated storage dot easy visuals just like that. Now from here we need to get both of our texts. So local text one is equal to script dot parent dot text one. And we can just do the same thing for this one text two, just like that. Awesome. So now that we have all the variables we need, we're going to create our effect so we're going to say local uh, not in caps local text one effect is equal to easy visuals dot new and we first need to say the ui instance which is text one the effect type i'm just going to say as rainbow and the speed i'm just going to put at 0 0.35 this has been a good speed for me once we have done that let's duplicate it and do the same thing for text two this time I'm going to be using the gold effect. Now, once you have created these variables, we can save the game and we can play it. And as you can see, we have really, really cool effects on these texts. They just look so awesome. You don't need to add any UI gradients. It's just in one line, you get both of these done in an instant. Now it does not end there. We can actually change the stroke as well. What we can do is copy this paste it and we can just add an s at the end why not and we can actually change this to rainbow stroke and gold stroke just like that so let's save that and we can play the game and when we play it as you can see it adds a nice effect or a nice ui stroke to them now it's kind of weird right now we can actually change one more thing and that is the size so i'm going to set it to five for both of them so let's save that and now it's a lot better so the gold one it's a little weird at times but it's still good um, but then the rainbow stroke as you can see it is awesome it fits perfectly with the other rainbow stroke and it is perfect now we can also edit a few things in the text so i just added text three and I gave it the lava effect, what we can do is actually destroy, pause, or resume the effect. So what we're gonna do, let's just wait three seconds, and then we will say text three effect, colon pause, and let's do the same thing with the, um, with the stroke as well. So we're gonna pause it, we're gonna wait three seconds, and then we're going to resume both of them just like that. So now when we play the game, it's going to go for a bit. And there you go. So it paused for a second and then it continues, which is awesome. And all of this happens while both of these are doing their own thing. So it is awesome. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can actually customize some of these if you'd like. So you can just go into the module and here you can actually customize whatever you want. So the rainbow, you know, I don't really know what's going on here that much. Um, but if you know what this is and you know what you're doing, you can actually customize these color sequence key points. Um, but as you can see, they're quite precise and I would not recommend touching them because if you do, it can kind of mess up the pre-built effect but hey if you know what you're doing go all out you can even add some of these if you'd like 
But yeah, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want more videos like this, please tell me in the comment section below, and I will make sure to make a video like this. Bye!